and welcome to another weekly update. Um, as you can see, this is not a normal update. I am in the house with an N95 mask on. We have had a lot of problems with the wildfire smoke where we live, and we have been under code reds a good part of this week, at times code purples. We're under code red today, and I have a little problems with um, breathing, get, being short of breath when there's conditions like this. So I have been in the house the past two days and uh, even being in the house, some of the particles get into the house and they've been bothering me. So I have this mask on to just help me out a little bit, but I am a, a tad short of breath, a little bit hoarse. And hopefully this will clear out in a few more days. Um, it's supposed to improve a little bit by tomorrow. But I did want to mention, um, I have been very concerned about our horses. We keep, we have Siberian Huskies there in the house with us and our cats are in the house with us. But of course the horses live outside. So I wanted to mention, you know, if, if your horses ever are in a situation like this with ours, what I'm basically doing is just totally resting them. And uh, I'm trying to give them, uh, we don't lock our horses inside, but they do have um, sheds and I keep plenty of hay for them to eat so that they'll tend to stay more in their sheds and also plenty of fresh cold water. They need a lot of extra water when you have smoke conditions like this. And um, I'm keeping an eye, uh, eye on them. Teddy was coughing occasionally a few days ago. He's doing better now. But if your horse starts to seem to have problems breathing or coughing or, you know, the smoke will affect them just like it affects people. So keeping a close watch on them, giving them total rest, plenty of water. And uh, there's really not a whole lot other things that you can do. And once the smoke is cleared, I'm still going to rest them for another maybe week or so, depending. I'll see how they're doing. And of course, um, just walking them is fine, you know, when I ground ride Teddy, but no, no riding where they're trotting or faster or lunging, anything like that. Just trying to keep them quiet. Before the smoke engulfed us, um, I had a few days where I was just so relaxed out in our back while we were doing our chores, I turned our minis loose and you'll see they have halters and leads on them. Um, I t we tend to leave the halters and leads on when we are out with them and they're just loose grazing. Um, it's better in case they were to decide to wander away. It's much easier to catch them that way. But when we keep them in the pasture, they do not have halters on at all. But it was just so relaxing. I thought you might enjoy just seeing a little footage of that. That's it for this week. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. I had some things I wanted to work on, especially with Teddy and uh, particularly the command to stand still. And I hope that you're doing well. I hope the smoke is not affecting you where you live. Say a prayer for those who are dealing with this and also for the wildfires. I think of all the wildlife. Um, I feel so badly for them being displaced and some of them perishing in the, the fires. So uh, I will see you at our next update. I hope you have a great and safe week. Bye-bye for now.